I'm going to fool Ken O'Brien of California Davis. Obviously, the Jets know something that, you know, the people up there don't. Pull back. Hello. Roger Vick. Jeff Lagerman. Jets just don't understand the dress ball back. Blair Thomas. Running back. Penn State. Johnny Mitchell. Cleveland's great is the fifth pick in the New York Jets. And with the fifth pick the 2009 NFL Draft, New York Jets select Mark Sanchez. D. Milner. You know Smith. Jets select quarterback Christian Hackenberg. Sam Darnold. The New York Jets select Zach Wilson. Future Pro Bowler, Elijah Moore. Michael Carter, running back. What's up, everybody? What's going on out there? What a cool thing this is to sit here all night and do the Jets thing. I usually have to nap, so I don't get to do this, but I went live at 7. I watched Ryan and Tigo at 8, and I hung out with Ryan's show at 9. Now, here we are. This is fucking cool. You guys do this all night, huh? This is amazing. Oh, look, our, our guest co-host tonight is here. Uh, Dom C, as you may have learned if you watched the 8 o'clock show, is away with his family uh, on a uh, what we call a vacation. I don't know what that is, but I heard they're fun. <laughs> so tonight I am delighted. I am excited, delighted to have one of my good buddies right here from uh, Jets Talk and Talking Jets. Look at this. Ryan's back. Ah, I love it. Uh, Green Bean. Can you see your camera on the screen? Because I'm seeing myself, but I don't see you, and I don't know if that's something I You don't did. see me? I don't Wait a see minute. it. Hold on. You know what? Hold on. Look, nobody can see me. Is that actually? Is that what's actually no, going no, on? No, no. Like, I'm not YouTube. an idiot. <laughs> I'm looking at YouTube right now. They, you can hear me, though? I can hear you loud and clear. All right, hold on. I, I know what's going on, I think. I, <laughs> <laughs> this fucking thing here. Hold on. This is how we're starting to it. Wait, what is this? If I did this now. Can you oh, see there you go. Green screen, green bean. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. <laughs> I'm in front of the orange bricks. Let That's me, uh, I don't want one. There we go. Am I back here? Yeah, let, 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 let's see. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> All right. That's the green street. You know, I, I hit it before by mistake, and I said, what the hell is that? And I, I hit none. <laughs> and... Uh, Jeremy's blown me up. He's like, your camera, your camera. So, hey, Dude. sorry, everybody. Look at that. So, I, I, was, I was chatting. Glad I brought you on. Before I hopped in with uh, Tigo prior to our um, our show, <laughs> I didn't I didn't test my audio and I didn't shoot any videos prior to this. Thank God I didn't because I would have been pissed. But uh, Tigo goes, what's wrong with your voice? You sound like a robot. And I'm like, oh, man, Shay's been playing with the roadcaster. And I click over and I got like tiny robot. <laughs> That's my voice right now. I was like, dude, if I had filmed a video because I don't listen to the audio as I film, right? I would have shot the entire video in robot voice and I would have lost my goddamn marbles. You're pissed. Oh, Hell yeah. I would be so fried. Yeah, dude, because that's the worst. Like, you know, a lot of the people that don't do this, they don't understand like how much goes into it, you know? Mm -hmm. And like, so like we sometimes there's that. There's like a glitch. You know what happened to me? I was using my uh, my external hard drive as like, you know, so I don't have use the data on my, you know, storage on my computer. Sure. And for whatever see. reason, anything that was stored on my hard drive at any given time, and it started to have more happen more and more frequent, uh, frequently, I, I saw I had to stop doing it. Or everything that I, the graphics and the pictures and everything that I would put in my, mm -hmm. my video, all of a sudden would disappear. Yep. All of them. And it would always wait till I got to the end. And the like the Jets pods are fucking 30 to uh, 30 minutes minimum to an hour show. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's 54 minutes. I'm in, I'm at I'm at 48 and everything <sighs> poof. And I'm like, I could take my computer, dude, and just smash it. I'm like, I want to hurt somebody. Who wants to get hurt? Dude, I have all my all my like graphics and stuff are on a one terabyte SSD and I probably need to buy a two terabyte just to back that up. But if I lost that dude, I would be, I'd be so mad. <laughs> my intros, like everything. Uh, well, like I told you. And loaded. 
when I brought my computer in to get a new battery, all I wanted was a battery. Mm -hmm. And they decided to, and I, I back it up. I, I just didn't back it up for a little while. Sure. And so anyway, a lot, dude, I, I lost probably, I mean, it was like 1.2 terabytes. Oh. Like that, the reason that the intro for this show is still from 2022 <laughs> is because I don't have the edited, I have to go in from scratch. Mm -hmm. So like I would update, I could pull things and update and do an uh -huh. ad, but it's a whole different, you know, exercise to start from scratch. I'm like, I don't know, it's fucking good oh, enough. Dude. You know my, I mean? so my, my buddy sent me my intro and I'm like, oh, I got to update the Lazard and Zach Wilson stuff. I got to pull that out. And I started doing it and I was like, man, this is just a little more work than I want to put on right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I want to do it, but I just, I haven't sat down to like actually do it. Yeah, dude. It's like, so it's, it's not easy, everybody, this whole thing. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of work goes into this. So mm -hmm. I hope you guys, uh, and I know they do. I, I hope you guys appreciate it, man. And that's why we appreciate you for hanging out with us, man. It's like, cause we go through all sorts of stumbling and bumbling and you guys still mm -hmm. hang out. Even that this is look, I just started with the fucking <laughs> first three minutes. I wasn't even on the screen. I'm over and there's going to, there's, there's going to be a, a timestamp comment. It's going to be the first one. It says, Oh, green bean fixes camera this time. Yeah, yeah, right. Somebody do that. Somebody timestamp it for me because I'm dumb and I, I already I'll I'll forget about it entirely in about three seconds. Ugh. So here we go. So tonight, Ryan, I put a poll up there for everybody in the chat. I want to say hello mm -hmm. to everybody. Welcome. Uh, I see a lot of people on Twitter as well. We have about 90 something on Twitter. So mm -hmm. hello, twits or tweeters or Xers or twits. You're, I think that's good. I like twits. Um, Twi there's yeah. a there was an old school book <laughs> back when I was in elementary school, like Meet the Twits or something like that. And it was really? great. Yeah, it was like, like a fun book. It was a crude, like stencil draw not stencil, but like thin drawings, like not a whole lot of color to it. I don't know if yeah. it's Meet the Twits or something about the Twits. I don't know. Well, so it sounds good. It sounds fun. I put a poll in there to see. I have four options. What do people think the trade's gonna be tonight? Right now, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell Ryan either. He has mm -hmm. no idea. I had no it. idea what I was coming into. Yeah. So uh, I didn't tell Ryan anything. I'm going rogue. So, uh, well, and and it's a little bit of a caveat to that. But so mm -hmm. I put the choices up there. Ryan, you, I don't know. You can tell me what you think. I put the Chargers. So that's a trade up. Yep. Uh, the Broncos sliding back two spots. The Rams mm -hmm. sliding back to 19. Or the Raiders sliding back three spots. So which one would you think is likely the trade tonight? So I just voted on it. And I think it's going to be the Rams because that's a very outside the box type trade. And we're talking scenarios here. So I feel Area. like that seems like one that we have not come across. That would be my vote for what I think it's going to be. <laughs> Excuse me. So God bless. God bless. So Make sure I didn't uh, yuckify myself. So, all right, let's see what the what the chat said. So, the chat thinks it's going to be the Raiders with thirty one percent. The Chargers right behind that at twenty eight. The Broncos at twenty three, and only sixteen percent agree with you, Ryan. Which is very interesting, everybody. <laughs> well, here's what I'm going to do. It, it it is gonna it was gonna be the Rams. Okay, so let me let me share let me share my screen. Well, let me tell you first. So the Rams trade looks like this. Now, this is all I'm gonna give you guys an option, actually. Mm. So I'm gonna give you two of those. Now, the Rams trade, the Jets slide back to 19. When you do the math by the board, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, now you remember this is a team looking up and saying, "Holy shit, there, there, there's a quarterback there we like." So that's a premium. They want to come up. The Rams have been known to use their draft capital uh, to make trades a lot of times for veterans, but they're not afraid to trade. The the mm -hmm. Rams they do it all the time. Sure. So they're very active, and it's very likely that they would be a team that we could work with. Mm -hmm. So they would they would get ten from us. And pick 134, which is our, our comp fourth. Yep. Right. We would get 19, 52, and 99, their comp Ooh, third. And I that's like that, that. that gives us a plus 20, which mm -hmm. is like a, a sixth. So it's a little bit sure. of a uh of a sixth round buffer there. 
mm-hmm. but we're going to keep that value because they want to come up and 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 get the quarterback. Truth is, I probably could have justified it in my head, not even giving them the fourth, mm-hmm. um, but because it's only thirty nine points anyway. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so that's what the Rams looks like. So the Jets get uh, nineteen fifty two and ninety nine. Mm-hmm. The Jets give up, so the Rams get ten and one thirty four. Now, the other trade is with the Broncos. This one's a little bit more tame, um, Mm -hmm. but it's interesting what I did here, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, it's it it teeters on unrealistic, but you guys be the judge. And I'll put Mm -hmm. it in the poll, and you guys can can make a a guess that way. So the Jets trade with the Broncos. We give them 10 and pick 111. Okay. And Zach Wilson. Okay. Um, uh, I think that's likely. Peyton thinks, give me that fucking kid. These guys are mm-hmm. are idiots. I, yep. I, I took over this guy's offense. It was the biggest train wreck I've ever seen. Uh-huh. Give me Zach Wilson. I I want that arm. I want those legs. And he can change them, right? Just like Matt Rule and Joe Brady thought with Sammy Boy. So, yep. And who knows? Sean Payton's a good coach, so who knows? I'm on board. But, I think that's a likely spot so for So here's what they too. give us. Mm-hmm. So we give them 10, 111, and Zachy Poo. They mm-hmm. give us 12 76 mm-hmm. and Cortland Sutton. They're trading oh, up. Oh, wow. They're trading up for Romo Dunze. That's who they're trading up for. They're not, it's only two spots. They want to make sure they get him. They don't like him maybe as much as Brian Thomas. Now, I don't know mm-hmm. how the sim will go, but just in the scenario, right? Sure. So I'm going to put that in the poll, everybody. What do you think about that, Ryan? So we got the Rams going back mm-hmm. to 19, getting 52 and 99. And then we got the Broncos. We give them 10, 111, and um, and uh, Zach. They give us Cortland Sutton in their third. So we basically jump up about 36 picks mm-hmm. or whatever it is, 35 yep. picks, uh, and Zach for Sutton. You know what I mean? Yep. So, and then there's the money we take from them mm-hmm. with Sutton, and they get they, they take a little bit from us for, for, for Zach. So I'll put so it in the poll, but what do you think? I would do the, the Broncos trade all damn day. I'm I'm a big Cortland Sutton guy. Um, I do think it's unlikely now that we have Mike Williams that that would be the the trade. But I could see a Broncos trade for sure. I think Zach Wilson would absolutely mm-hmm. be traded in that scenario, and you'd probably get their third round pick this year. The Raiders obviously could beat that if they wanted to give up their second round pick, but that would be a, a pretty hefty overpay to go from 13 to 10. Uh, but if you're going for a quarterback and that's the price, you know, it's in the in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, the Rams one's an interesting one because I do think that the Jets are going to have to fall back further than any of us feel real comfortable with to get that second. And I've been projecting the Eagles at 22 as the team, but I, you know, the Rams at 19 makes sense too if they want to come up for a quarterback. I mean, we're getting, they, uh, see, right. They both have incredible value to me. Mm-hmm. Um, they really do. I'm going to. What happened? Must be between. I don't want that option. Oh, I oh I got too much going on. All right, too many on. characters. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I gotta um. Make some... Just say like uh, uh. Say like Sutton. Twelve. And whatever the it. other pick. Was. I got it. You guys got it. You got to ignore the lack of a space between seventy six and Sutton. So here it is. <laughs> All right, now look, I'm going to give you guys two minutes for this one. All of our trades, I'm going to tell you the rules, everybody, while we do this, okay? So uh, this is the 10 o'clock mock. We have rules here. So we have a, a, a process. So what we do is we Ryan and I will talk about the positions to trade. We can only give you guys four options for each pick, but we're going to do what we think is likely. We read the chat. You guys give us ideas and stuff like that. But we're going to put four names up for every draft pick. You guys will then get 90 seconds to get your votes in. Um, Once 90 seconds hits, it's closed. I recommend getting your vote because you have a voice here, man. You help Mm. us pick. It's your draft. So once that happens, we move on to the next pick and we see where we are. And 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 all that. So right now I'm giving you two minutes. And as I talked, I forgot to hit the timer. So I'll put how much was that? <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot, by the way. Um, Dude, that's why yeah. I like it's nice using the OBS side of things because then I can click my stream deck and yeah, trigger yeah. the 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 countdown timer. That's the only thing that keeps me honest. I, when I have to do ad reads in the middle of our shows, I jack it up all the time. It's a lot. <laughs> I never Dude. Do the timing. 
And the thing is, I'm going to be running the draft tonight. Usually, Dom mm -hmm. would run the sim for me. Ah, um, you know, so it's like we can kind. Of, I can do different things. So it'll be uh, maybe a touch slower tonight, but it is what it is. I could have helped out. I didn't realize that was part of the the, the Dom C duties. Yeah, yeah, it's way. That's all right. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't want it. You were just coming out of a show. I didn't want you to have to set up anything. <laughs> I appreciate it. You just did fucking two hours of shows. Uh, Red John checking in. I always prefer to trade with an NFC team. Mm. I'd say it's a good point. It's a good. See, point I like there. I like the Broncos trade because there's there's a lot of players I really like in that top 13, 14 that I think you can still get shifting down. I it would be hard for me to trade out of Odunze though. I I do like him a lot. Yeah, well, and that's if he's there. Honestly, they want to know the truth. When I did these, I I worked through these a bunch of times. Odunze mm. kept going to the Bears. All right, so um, that's yeah. it. So I'll end the poll. Mm. see where we are oh this is close hold on um i'll give it a few more seconds because i hope we got 104 votes i'll read this from dom c that i met dom c checking in he missed us my checking in. look at our, our co-host <laughs> yeah checking in from sunny marco island ryan don't get comfortable in my seat happy to watch this one from the chat tonight hassan f and reddick right on dude so, Dom, I want you to know that you told me two or three weeks ago that you would not be available for the April 1st show. And it took until three, four, five hours after Green Bean asked me to fill in for you on this show that I realized I oh. need to get Tigo for, for the, the, yeah. the draft show. Well, it's funny because when I said, I said, well, Dom C is not going to be here, as you know. And Just, it still took him four or five hours. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm standing in the kitchen with Becca and I'm like, Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going on with Green Bean because Dom C is not. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> no way. Yeah. It's like he's not going to be here. I'm an idiot. Yep. So, all right. So, Dom, we love you, buddy. And uh, we're both, we're just fried, Dom, uh, Ryan and I. We don't, you know, we're we're shocked. Dude. We're slap happy. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad you're here. I just took a gummy, too. You did? Oh, Dom, uh, Ryan's going to be slowing down. He's going to be oh, like, I don't know, man. I'm at, I'm at cruising altitude. He's at cruising altitude. <laughs> Steve checking in. This is the one and only Sack Exchange. What's up, buddy? Uh, Sack it? tuning in. Leader of the Bowers boys. Love you guys. Trade away, but get me Bowers. Let's score some points. Well, Dude, let's see if Bowers stay. makes it. Yeah, I was gonna say that's why I want to stay at uh at the Broncos pick. I, well, I and that's like what happens. Bowers yeah. a lot. Yeah, I Big like Bowers, Bowers too. I I like I've said I'm not a Bowers boy by any stretch. Mm. Um, truth is. I would prefer if Romo Dunze is there, I prefer him. Uh, mm. And I'm I'm and, in the tackle side of things, but I'm not like, you know, rigid. Like it's got to that fucking bullshit. I'm not mm -hmm. going to argue with anybody. If they if, if I hear Brock Bowers pick, I'm going to be excited about the reason why they want him. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And he's going to function as a as an offensive, you know, in that, not a wide receiver per se, but he's going to do the same things. They're going to put him in the slot. Sure. They're going to move him around, and so. It's going to be fine. Um, they were putting Conk and Uzoma out wide all the time last year anyway. What's the difference? You know what I mean? Not, it, Just Bowers makes, that can actually do it. Bowers makes all the sense in the world because of what we've wanted to do in the past. We had Michael Mayer on our draft board last year if McDonald wasn't there. We wanted Jameer Gibbs. Clearly, we're looking for some type of home run talent, even when you have a Brees Hall on the roster. So, like, to me, the blending of home run threat and the tight end that they wanted last year, it's Brock Bowers. And and with Mike Williams not being ready for the start of the season, if you assume Odunze goes to the Bears, I don't know what other pick, you know, screams, we need to win now. With The same thing as the Reddick trade. Like, the Reddick trade is like, hey, we are going for it now. That's what it means. Yeah. Like, as much as I completely understand the depth side of things with the offensive line, and I won't be upset if we go that route, because if the offense is going to run through Brees, and then the the uh, you know God forbid Brees gets hurt. At least you have a line in front of Aaron to keep him upright to give him a little bit more time. Like I can understand that. I just hope they have enough confidence in some of our other guys. And I do believe the Jets are going to bring back McGovern and then either add Bakhtiari or maybe bring back Becton. And then all of a sudden your depth on O line don't seem as critical. But I think the Jets wait till after the draft to do it, so that way there's a little more mystique around what ten is going to be. Right. So, yeah, I mean, again, like, so, I mean, Zach is, I mean, there's no. Oh, I Every know. time yeah. I open up my Twitter app, Zach, I'm, I'm like, yeah, it's right always there. Zach exchange. Just yeah. Bowers, right. Bowers. I was like, I'm going to mute you. <laughs> this is going to happen. I was like, man, this is, oh, I'm getting beat upside the head. 
So, all right. So this is our trade. But Zach, thank you, man. It's always good to hear from you. Uh, and uh, yeah, and I appreciate it. But um, we'll see. We'll see if Bowers is the guy. I'm, I'd be happy with it. But this is going to be interesting because uh, mm -hmm. I'll reiterate the trade. I want to say one other thing, too, by the way. All Super Chats, if you guys are so kind to throw them in, everybody who throws a Super Chat up tonight is eligible at the end of the show. Well, I'll give away a liquid IV, hydration multiplier. I actually got some bags. T -t tonight will be one of these, which is eight packs of liquid IV. Ooh. Got numerous flavors. Um, and by the way, you can save 15% on liquid IV by using the promo code GreenBeanJetsFan. Link is in the description of this stream if you want to just do that, make it easy. But at checkout, hit Green Bean Jets fan as the code, and you will save 15%. But I'm going to give one of those away. All you guys that send in Super Chats, uh, my little uh, way of saying thank you, uh, and we'll do that. Uh, Edward Ziff says, trade up for neighbors. That's I love the spelling. Yeah, I know. It's funny. Uh, <laughs> it's easy. He's talking it probably. Or trade back for O-line. Well, what we did tonight, Ed, is the chosen trade by the chat is – Denver. So this is what we did. I we got a lot more people in here. Another 200 people came in. So this is the trade for tonight, guys. We are sliding back to 12 with the Denver Broncos. This is what we got. So the Jets receive 12 pick 76. That's their third. So now we have 72 and 76 and wide receiver Cortland Sutton. The Jets gave up pick 10 pick 111 and quarterback Zach Wilson. Sean Payton says, give me Zach Wilson. I'll have him battle it out with Stidham. And I want I want to start reloading this damn team with young wide receivers. I don't want any of this high price bullshit. I want to just start over. They got Marvin Mims, right? I think that's um, isn't he a Bronco? I think he is. Um, but yeah, so he's looking at Romo Dunze, Brian Thomas. Now, no matter what they really take in the Sim, the Sims are do whatever the hell they want to do. But that's why they're trading up in our world. Okay, everybody? Mm. So we'll do this. So there you go, Ed. Um, screw sliding back. Makes me want to puke. Well, that's what we're doing tonight. Listen, let me explain something to you guys. Just so what this show is, is an exploration into scenarios to see what mm. it would look like. That's what we're doing. We're having fun. It doesn't mean we can sit at home on our phone and do PFN 10 million times a day if we'd like. And we can pick... You know, uh, Fashanu, every time if we want. We could do it all day, every day. What we're doing here is we're trying to see different scenarios with all sorts of different voices and sims and chats and votes and polls to see what it could look like in this type of a world. It's not always just you and a sim. You know what I mean? And obviously not in the real world. So with that all said, we're going to start this one, Ryan. You ready? Mm -hmm. ready let's right. go so remember 90 seconds per pick let's go ahead and see what this draft looks like i'm going to be careful i'm not used to controlling it <laughs> i've done it before where it's like oh no i've only set the first round yep. up <laughs> so there goes romo dunze look and they traded up for jared verse in the sim it's, it makes no sense look quarterback <laughs> wide it's like it's their fourth need but but he's the probably the highest rated player you know how pff does it Oh, so yeah. just a real quick to see how it went. Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, no surprise. First non-quarterback, Marvin Harrison, no surprise. Malik Neighbors to the Chargers, no surprise. J.J. McCarthy to the Giants, picking up a lot of steam, especially if it falls this way. Um, I can't well, see. One yeah. of four or five is trading out, 100%. Yeah. It's not, well, the Vikings. not going to the Giants. Yeah. Well, he, he, I think he could. I think well, he could. I, I, but. I think he goes. I think the Giants have to trade up. That's more what I'm saying. Oh, that'd be interesting. Imagine that being at six and having to trade up for a quarterback uh, like the Jets. Um, yeah. So uh, Romo Dunze goes to the the Titans here. Dallas Turner, that makes sense. Joe Alt, mm. interesting. So and there goes Fuaga. So all right, we're on the clock, everybody. Look who's here. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll definitely add Brock Bowers to the poll. All right. So let's see. This is their big board. So we got mm -hmm. Brock Bowers, uh, Newton, right? Uh, let's see, cornerbacks. Fought now. So, yeah, I know. I want to say Fatanu, and I'm doing it. I, every time Fatanu. I say Fatanu, it's like, that's what it, that's what it looks like. <laughs> it looks it's like, like Fuaga. That. It's the same, same yeah, thing for I me. Know. It's like, man, it's so, it looks so satisfying to say. So we got tackles for days here. We got Fashanu, Latham, Fatanu. 
So what do you think? Fatanu and Fashanu will do uh, Brock Bowers and the top wide receiver. Prime Brian just, Thomas Jr. Yeah, I'm guess. thinking. Yeah. So, all right. That's what we'll do. Yeah. All right. So I here like we go, that. guys. Talk about it. Who do you see? Who would not, don't tell them who you would vote for, but just like explore mm -hmm. maybe why sure. we, the, the, the Jets could. Yeah, absolutely. Explain. So. So working our way through this, Brock Bowers, top player on the board right now. Jets wanted a tight end last year. It would make a lot of sense. There's a lot of volatility in the tight end uh, department in terms of evaluation. I think we all would agree that Travis Kelsey, Laporta, and Mark Andrews, and Kittle, all these guys would be top 10 picks in any draft that you knew the talent would be coming out. But then you have other guys that are drafted in the first round. That doesn't really work out. So there's there's some inherent risk with tight end. I think with the tackles, obviously, what are we doing? Fashanu and... Uh, yeah, the day I was, yeah, Fatanu. Fatanu and Fashanu. So you got the left tackle, you got the right tackle, a little bit of interior flexibility with Fatanu, which I think is interesting given the AVT Tyron Smith uh, injury history. Obviously, Fashanu probably gives you a little bit of shades of uh, DeBrickishaw Ferguson. You know, big, big dude, left-hand side, you know, lock it down for the next 10 years. Um Maybe not as polished in the run game as you may want, but I think that's uh, a very popular option given his, I don't want to call it a pedigree, but for how long he's been listed as, as offensive tackle too. And then when I look at Brian Thomas Jr., I mean, we're talking about Malik Neighbors going top five potentially or top yeah. six, like very realistic with four, three speed. Brian Thomas Jr. ran a four, three at the combine, not at his pro day at the combine at six foot three, like that is a freak with yeah, some yeah. really good touchdown ability. Like I understand it. Like they're, every one of these picks you could not go wrong with. Wait a minute. Are you guys, you guys are full of shit. This is April fools. What are you talking about? Joe Rogan died. There's no way. He's the healthiest guy in the world. No shot. No shot. It'd be everywhere. Yeah. There's no way. Why, why is that? I gotta, I gotta, why is that fucking fun to do? I don't understand. One thing yeah, to say, like the Jets signed Jamal Adams. I mean, that's fine. But it, was that your April me. Fool's joke? <laughs> no, I just saw it. I don't do April <laughs> Fool's, man. But uh, I, I don't know. I just, whatever I think of anything, it just uh, sounds stupid to me. Dude, um, in high school, it was uh, Hugh Hefner died. And what's funny is two years earlier, we had like a death pool and we got to pick five people that you thought would die. And whoever died first, you'd obviously like, win 20 bucks or whatever it was. And I had Hugh Hefner as one of my five. And I was like, he's pretty high up there. Might have a heart attack. Yeah. Well, and, Hugh uh, Hefner, I mean, that guy just kept living and living. So did he ever. Uh, all right. Well, re real quick, Alan Doge. So we have the option to package a couple picks to get back into the second tonight, right? Cough, cough. We could, and we'll talk about that. When we get to the second, I'm going to stop it because we have two thirds and a fourth now. So we could see what that looks like. Mm -hmm. No problem, Alan, Do Alan Doge. And Gall. My favorite two Jets guys, screw Matt, Ryan, freezes ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't freeze me tonight, huh? I can. I don't have the power. StreamYard no doesn't do that. No power. All right, so I'm ending the poll, everybody. Let's see. I didn't even look, so I don't know who won. I have, I have imagine it's Bowers, but let's see. No. Holy shit. That is crazy close. Wow. Crazy close. Wow. But Bowers is 20. So it came in Fatanu. 32%. I'm curious if you made it. Can we do one extra poll just for shits and giggles? No. I, I'm just curious abstract. if the tackles split or if one, like, are there any, would it be like 50% want tackle if it was just Fatani? That happens. Fatani? That happens for sure. But it's mm. still, it's not, it's not real to only, you know what I mean? It's like, so I hear you, dude. It gets too abstract. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like when we start doing that and it takes fucking forever. We're already going long. Mm -hmm. um, but all right. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and take Troy Fatanu, everybody. There he goes. Look at that. The Jets take Fatanu. They're going to give us an F for that one, I bet. I don't. I'll be honest. I, I would definitely go Bowers. Now that we've got Cortland Sutton, like Bowers is super interesting to me. But I understand saying, like, hey, we've got so many weapons right now. You right. like Conklin. You like Rucker. Right. You get Fatanu in here. Yep. He can play both sides. He can play mm -hmm. all over the place. He's grooming. You don't need him to come in right away. Yep. Makes a ton of sense. Yeah. And then he gives you, he, he can pressure 
Moses for starting time. He's only making five and a half million dollars this year. You got John Simpson basically on a one year deal. He can get I released after the season it. if they wanted to. How do I pa- I wanted to pause it? Oh, I, fu- I couldn't. Alan, I fucking blew it. That's all right. <laughs> we'll stay where we are. How do I, I couldn't pause it? Where is it? I, I don't know. Don't you, do you have to control every pick? I, I'm so bad with these mock drafts. Like, well, no, there's a way to pause it. I don't see it though. I don't. Uh, it, it's well, small it's already it's, it's paused right now, so that maybe that's why it doesn't. Well, show it's up. only paused because we're on the clock. But yeah, usually yeah. there's a button under here that says pause. Mother truckers. Maybe it's not. Maybe I can't. I don't know. Well, we're gonna ball out. We got two picks in the third round. Yeah, we are. All right. So here we go. Out. Let's take a look at the big board. Sorry, guys. Here we go. All right, so we got Spencer Rattler there. A lot of people are talking about him these days. Devondre Sweat. Uh, look, their top receiver is Javon Baker, but that's not good. That that that's not right. All right, so let, we took a tackle. So let's look at the wide receivers. So are you like still set on wide receiver? We got Mike Williams, Cortland Sutton. I'm just. I, yep. I feel like there's a lot of. I, I feel like, oh, and a, we have Lazard. Lazard's here, like it or yep. not. Right? I, I feel like there's a type that we're missing. Like a particular type of wide receiver. I know exactly who it is. And it's this guy right here. That's the yep. guy. Yep. You see yep. him? Basically every fourth round pick I ever make. Yeah. He's, I know it, it's funny because he's not going to make it to the fourth, in my opinion. In you think my he goes opinion. before it? Dude, he's, yeah, he's, I think he's, he's a so much bigger than his size. That was oh, the he's... biggest takeaway I had of him. He's amazing. All right, so a lot of people are going to like Malachi Corley. So, yep. well, let's do this. We'll do two wide receivers. So we'll do Malachi Corley. Now, you want to see a little bit? Let's look at his first look real quick. Uh, 5'11", 210. Now, you know about him. Uh, he's transitioning from running – transitioned from running back to wide receiver. So mm-hmm. um, going to be a little bit of a – raw right i think that's even what they're saying here right so raw Mm -hmm. but he's also got that running back mindset dude which is really great i love wide receivers they used to say that about quincy anunwa he's a running Mm -hmm. back in wide receiver body uh anquam bolden he can burn you he can juke you but guess what if you're in his way he's gonna flat out run you over and i plus they like to block running backs most running backs they're kind kind of built into their pedigree Mm -hmm. um except for izzy of course uh i loved 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 the uh you know size profile of quincy like that's just been such a fun type of receiver to watch an aj brown a debo samuel like that that's what none would have been if he could have stayed healthy and and none was one of the saddest things ever because he was something else dude for a sixth round pick too yeah he was uh he was really special malachi corley Wide receiver, we'll put Malik Washington. It's in wide receiver. And what? so what else? We're going to look at safety here, Ryan, I think. I think that's fair. I think based on who we have on the roster. And uh, what do you, so I had this question earlier. What do you make of like all these free agent safeties being out there and no one really like looking want at too much it. money. That's what it is. You they think, they think is? that, yep. And there's a lot there. They, it's not a terrible safety class. It's no. not, it wouldn't, it's not, I don't, I don't see any of them going in the first maybe, mm-hmm. um, but it's a pretty nice class. Uh, so I think a lot of teams are just saying like, dude, look, we got to pay money for quarterbacks, tackles, wide receivers, edges, like safety. We're just not anymore. And you saw, mm-hmm. you know, Quandre Diggs and, and, um, and uh, Jamal Adams, they were the two highest paid safeties in the NFL. Mm-hmm. And what did it get them? Nothing. Nothing. So, uh, you know, I think teams, it's just like they're, uh, I heard something good that you guys were saying, you were on your Tigo show earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh, Who were you talking about? Um, We were talking a little bit. Oh, you were talking about the injury to Aaron Rodgers kind of impacting the money that people want to give for older kind of guy or coming off of injury. It's just like, or just for even one player, like let alone the position, like the idea of putting so many eggs in one basket when the average NFL career length is like a, a, a um, what is it? They get their pension at four years. So the average career is like three, three and a half years. So you're rolling the dice uh, in any given year of paying someone $50 million that you got a one in four shot that this guy's done this year. That is a crazy risk to take. 
Would you do that in anything else? Um, wait, say it again. Just if you so had because... a 25% chance of losing right, $50 right. million, dollars, would you roll yeah. that dice? But no, no, no. You don't roll dice no like way. that. Yeah, you don't roll dice like that. Even though that you have to. So that's a, the difference is you have to spend it. You know what I mean? So there's Correct. that. The quarterback's uh, a little different than like, yeah, and, oh, yeah, and then right. also like you need to spend yeah. in a game too. But still, I wouldn't be surprised to see it impacting things like that. Um, yeah, especially positions that are like adjacent to like the really, really good ones. Like you're seeing receivers get paid a lot. You're seeing quarterbacks get paid a lot. And then it's like defensive tackles and edge rushers are kind of in that next like little rung, even before tackles almost. So, all right, so let's look here. So Cameron Kinchins is exciting. I mean, he had, mm -hmm. let, let's take a look. He had like 10 interceptions. Um, I've yeah. seen a lot of fans put Cole Bishop as their Yeah, I like, love Cole. Yeah, Cole Bishop's another one. Uh, let me see. Uh, 52 tackles this admittedly, year. I have not looked much at safety at all in this draft. Oh, I have, yeah. Um, let, so anyway, let's see. Uh, six foot, 205. 12 mm. games starting off uh, final five became full-time starter can all blah, 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 blah. skills to come down with the with lighter side project potential starter at free safety yeah i mean he's an exciting player so mm -hmm. now look like we do here we're not going to use the ratings of the sim like you can totally game the sim into getting everybody you want you go yeah well they have them rated 120 i'm at 80 so yeah you can do that we don't do that we try not to here it happens mm -hmm. but we try not to because you don't know what a team. Look at the Jets taking Will McDonald at 15 last year. Nobody in the wow. world saw that coming. No. And and it shouldn't have happened. But <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put Kinchins up there. Okay. Uh, now, a lot of people like uh, Tyke Smith, Sione Vaki. Um, this is a guy that I believe Ulbricht really liked. Mm. Um, Senior Bowl guy? Yep. So uh, uh, but let's do Cole Bishop because a lot of people like Cole Bishop. Uh, we'll throw him up there. Okay. So we so got two wide receivers. Yeah. Two and, receivers, two safeties. Yep. Two wide receivers, two safeties. And listen, if I spelled something wrong, please. Now, are you, are you off of, I guess O-line you're off. Cause we got, uh, fought new in the first, right? We just, yeah. I mean, I mean, as far as going, Not, now we have another pick in four picks. That's yeah, the yeah. cool thing about this too. So, so I, Go so on. without getting ahead of ourselves, I do think you could consider based on what we've done already, like if you really liked Rattler as an example, or you really liked your quarterback and you weren't sure they were going to make it to totally. your fourth round pick, I'd be open to it based on the amount of picks we've had so far. I don't, I don't think I'd love it, but I'd be open to it. I would understand it. I would understand it too. The, you know what? I, I, I'm a big Jordan Travis guy. And Me too. Especially, like, especially look, if we have to keep Zach, mm -hmm. which we're not in this scenario because he's mm -hmm. in a, he's a Denver Bronco in this scenario. But if we have to keep this guy being able to pull Travis in and just stash in him for the year, mm -hmm. throw him on IR. Yep. Is a real benefit, man. Yep. Um, so I know, that's just something, but that's if they like him, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't see any way Zach's on this roster. I would be very surprised. I think he's a draft day trade. I think that's the most likely scenario. Yeah. I would hold him through training camp if I had to, if I wasn't getting a pick. I think you're right, though. I think Denver's the team that makes the move. Yeah, I think so, too. Peyton's going to look... Dude, a, a real offense... Like, uh, Sean there's an Peyton, ego. There's an ego there. But then you look at what we have. We're here complaining about... He had Mike LaFleur, who was a rookie, didn't mm -hmm. know anything. He lost Greg Knapp. So he's got the Mike LaFleur two years. Fucking mm -hmm. Rob Calabrese is his, is his quarterback coach. Who's he? And yep. then you got Hackett, who just Sean Payton just happened to take over and said it was the worst thing he's ever seen. In that, the NFL mm -hmm. history was the way he said it. So, and last December, two Decembers ago, Sean Payton came out, or maybe it was November, said like, oh, Zach's going to be a starter again in this league. Like He supported him. He was on Fox Sports. I think it was Cowherd or something like that. And yeah. he, he's talking about Zach's going to be a, a starter in this league. Like it, all the chips fall towards Denver and they don't have a starter. Like they're going to implode the year with the, the Russell Wilson dead cap hit. That's their play. Yep. I think so, okay. The, the poll is up. Uh, Malik Washington comes in with 37% beating out Malachi Corley with 23%. Cole Bishop, 22 Cameron Kinchins. You guys got to look at him, man. I, he might be, 
my uh, favorite safety in the draft. It's slowly happening, but not just yet. But mm-hmm. um, anyway, uh, all right, let's make our pick. Who the hell was it again? Oh, hell yeah, well, uh, Washington. It's hard to do it all. I, I got all these fucking tabs open and stuff. I am uh, glad we went. Well, I mean, I guess we kind of we went that route for quarter uh, for wide receiver, right? Like we specifically chose a more slot receiver than your, uh, you know, your your outside guys. Yeah, like we weren't looking towards like a Tez Walker or something. So look, we can throw Spencer Rattler up there right now. How about could you throw court just quarterback in general so we don't waste more mm-hmm. than one spot? It's got to be a specific guy. Because <sighs> then we got to do another poll. On you're right, like, you're right. Hey, dude, Ryan, right. it just, it takes, like, don't forget, it's 1044 p.m. <laughs> I have a job that starts at 6 in the morning. I got off tomorrow. So, I'm pumped. Yeah, I know. That's, a, it's very, you know. It's a, <laughs> I'm back at work. I'm just, I don't work tomorrow. Yeah. So we have to remember that. But, and, uh, and plus, plus, a lot of people in the chat, like, we we lose them, too. After, like, 11, mm. 15, 11, 30, they start petering out. Uh, but, um, we got this. So, all right, we'll throw Spencer Rattler up there. He's the top quarterback, okay? I think we should put safety back up there. What do you think of that? I mean, we just took a wide receiver. Yeah, I mean, if they're so close together, I think if you eliminate the wide receivers, you put the two safeties back up there. And then is there another position that you like? Like, are we satisfied with the tackle? Are we satisfied with, uh, you know, cornerback I, th- I think corners a real need we can go interior line that's yeah that's, like, don't, don't forget about that can we take a look at corner real quick and just see who's available because like yeah. with reed getting up there like in his contract he might be gone after the season it's a real possibility oh he's extended already i, I hope so dude dude i want i want reed here like Long-term. maybe they have like a hush hush like yo okay. we're gonna extend you but we're gonna wait till after the well, draft who do you like here so here's our guys we got max melton andrew phillips renardo green i didn't do any cornerback work i depend on no, dom for this. no i see i didn't start looking at him till later on this is where we need dom c <laughs> yeah. where do we go uh sodak says respectfully explain to me how you could look bowers Look at Bowers over an offensive tackle after last year with the injury risks and offensive line. And the fact we already have a top 10 uh, uh, tight end. Well, I hear you. I mean, mm-hmm. I think the justification is this. We have our starting offensive line. We don't have the weapon covered full. Mm-hmm. So if you at, at 10, you want somebody to come in and play right away. You can wait till the third or if you trade back a little bit and still get Bowers and you have whatever a second, let's say, just hypothetically, second or third, you can get a tackle that's going to be, uh, you know, very, very high upside, but maybe raw that you can grab in the third that you, that is good enough to, like, sit for six, eight, 10, or 13 games, and you're comfortable with him coming in and playing at that point uh, rather than, you know, the getting the impact that Bowers could potentially bring. Now, that said, as much as I love tight ends, I'm with you. You know what I mean? I, I am, but I just think Bauer is, is unique in the respect that he has a lot of true tight end attributes uh, that maybe like a Kyle Pitts didn't have blocking and, and stuff like that. I also um, think it's, I think for me, the, the reason you look Bowers is because of what the Jets wanted last year. Like they, they had Mayor High on their list. They wanted Jameer Gibbs. They want a home run threat. They're interested in tight end. They had the same exact tight end room last year, plus Uzama. We now lose Uzama. I just, I feel like, and then when you look at Tyron Smith, he misses games every year, but of the last, like since 2015, he's missed games every year. He's never missed a playoff game. Cowboys played in seven playoff games. He's not missing the games that he needs to be there, like the critical, critical games. So like, I'm fine with a Carter Warren, it, like a week or two weeks in a row. And it's not great, but like, I feel like I could live with that. And I think that's where, and it's the, almost the argument of like, hey, we like Michael Carter. Why select Brees Hall in the second round? It's a home run threat. Yeah, right. And I can appreciate that. So, all right, do you want to, all right, so here's what we have. We have Spencer Rattler, Cameron Kinchin. So that's all I have so far. So we got we to gotta get moving. Um, defensive line, you got Michael Hall. He's, he's You could put him up there. 6'2", 280. 
measurements make him a tough player to slot into a specific scheme, but due to how quickly he can with win with finesse, uh, best spot lead, like a defensive tackle, defensive end, four, three front. So is that JFM replacement? He, well, he's a little, yeah, but he's, yeah, he's like a penetrator on the inside. Yeah. Um, well, that's what could, like, yeah, JFM might be gone after this year unless they restructure him for like two years. All right. And let's look at some interior guys. Uh, interior offensive line. There we go. Oh man, they're all there. Look at them all. Oh man, dude, I would. Uh, I like Van Pran. Yeah. Your choice. I like. I like Van Pran a lot. I like Mahogany. Yeah, we could put Cedric Van Pran up there. It, it could be any one of those guys. You know what? I want to take the Even quarterback. Later off. too is like intriguing. I still like Zinter. I'm sure Zinter's still there. Yeah, he's there. There's a Eaton lot of guys there. I like. Yep. All right, here we go. There, there it is. So the chat, the poll is up. One minute, 30 seconds. Timer is going. Uh, so I see your chat. You said the Tim1964 is asking where his super chat went. I don't see it, Tim. I'm, I'm looking through all the super chats here. I have them all consolidated. Um, Red John Project Prospects, Steve, Edward Ziff, Alan Dodes, Gall. Uh, so Dak, I got one from Douglas McClure that I'm going to get to right here, but I apologize. I don't know, man. I know that's a, uh, that's something happened with YouTube. I, I, I hate to see you spend some friggin' money and not, and not get your super chat. Uh, write a message. We'll try to make trouble. We'll, we'll try to see it. It's hard for me to scan the chat so, tonight, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep an eye out. He did just send Zach is like Geno Smith. He just needs eight years to develop. That's right. So let's keep him here for eight years. Like so many people all keep of a sudden around. practice squad. Yeah. You know how many yeah. people were saying that this year? Like, oh, just we should have kept him. Uh, yeah, nine oh, years. Yeah. We do. We were one game and we want to fucking cup. Remember, Tipman was a bust before the season started. Oh, year. yeah. He's uh, four. I, everyone, Brees started as like the third running back. Sauce was backup corner coming into camp. Like, whoever we draft at 10 is going to be a backup and it's going to be a fucking story yeah, all through training oh, camp. And then they're going to start sucks. week one. And it's not going to be a thing. Yeah. Uh, Douglas McClure, thank you, buddy. He says, if Zach Wilson ends up in Denver and beats out Stidham for the starting job and the Denver game against the Jets could be interesting. Dude, let me tell you something. Dude, I would this. love that to happen. It's going to happen. 100% it's going to happen. There's th That is such a good storyline for oh, the NFL. And yeah. it's also like, it's not crazy to think Zach should beat out Stidham. Yeah, he should. I really, like, I don't think Zach's a bad quarterback. If it didn't go to shit with, like, you know, the, the personalities and everything. And like, obviously him playing the way he did this year, I really wanted to, to see him a full year under Rogers going into next year. And that like, not that I'm going to root for him. Like I hope Sean Payton implodes, but <laughs> yeah, right. But, uh, no, I'm not, I, I don't did. really think poorly of Zach, I guess is my, my, I'm, uh, I'm rooting against any, I'm rooting against Bryce Huff already. And I actually liked him. <laughs> um, all right, here we go. Cedric Fran Pran is the winner of this one. So here we go. We got our backup center. You can play guard. So uh, yeah, you got. I love it. I think that's a very very strong pick. Yeah, um, I want to point out. I see this from liked. Jeremy. Jeremy saying he can beat me up because he thinks I'm not reading the chat. <laughs> yeah, I Sean. Let me tell you something. If if I voted there, it was Kinchins. Mm. So, but that's it. That's the thing. It's like. It's funny because I get blamed a lot. Like you know, you that you you know you that draft you did sucked, and I'm like, dude, I don't even vote. I mean, but I have him. I'm the only one to vote. I I like. I don't know. Right. So here we are, pick one thirty four. We have four more picks, everybody. So uh, let's take a look at the big board. So here's the big board. Uh, you got an edge rusher up there. Don't forget, we need a running back in this draft. Ooh. Uh, let's not forget that we need a running back. We still need a safety. Braylon Allen's here, everybody. That's who I was gonna say. Yeah, he's very exciting. Isaiah Adams and uh, another guy I like, Christian Boyd. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. I'm I'm down to put Allen on it. If yeah, you we got this is where we start looking at running backs. So this What's is 134. I said. So we're 50 picks later. After, but like 50 more picks after this. So that's a pretty good drop. And then we're like another 75 picks. So it's like, even though we got four picks, there's like pretty big gaps. Yeah. So we'll put two running backs, two safeties here. 
because uh, those are positions of need. What how, what um, do the quarterbacks look like? Like is okay. We can put quarterback. I just want to see if like Jordan Travis is there. He's gone, ah, man. Yeah, and you know after Travis and like uh, Rattler and um, who's the third quarterback? Pratt. Like after those guys go, I'm like lukewarm on everyone else. Quarterback. Tyrone Tracy. I was just wait a minute. I didn't watch him. Six one two ten. Yeah, I was just I was watching him after last week's mock. Um, yeah, he's interesting. Dylan Lauby is another one. Anyway, uh, who do you? So give me another running back that 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 you like there. Um, in that spot, I'd go Allen. It's probably too early for Gore. Gore's probably. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I, don't like, I don't like Gore. Really? Oh, dude. I don't. I don't want. And I don't want him. I don't want to bite on the name. I love the I name, dude. Um, I'm, I'm a if big. That guy's name was Frank Charles. Nobody'd even be looking at him. That's I'm how a, I I'm see a, it. I'm a big, uh, big name guy. They just know how to train from like. I, I mean, get I'm that. Sure there's, I'm sure there's a bunch of NFLs kids that never amount. There's to way more. Oh, way more. All right. So let's look at, here we go. All right. So we'll do, we'll, we'll put Tyrone Tracy up there. Um, interesting running back. Mm. And then you put the two safeties up. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's see who the safeties are. Cause I don't know who they are. Let's see. Bo Brady's there. Malik Mustafa. There you go. Jalen Simpson's really interesting. Um, we could just put the top two right there. Yep. B E, how do you spell that? B E A U Braid. B R Brady with an E, right? Brady with an E. Yeah. And who was it? Malik Mustafa? Yeah. All right. All right. The poll is up. The timer is started. Get your votes in, everybody. The running back safety battle at pick 134, our comp pick for this one was for Mike White, I believe. This was <laughs> this is who we're trading Mike White for, essentially. Uh, big fella checking in. What strength are those gummies? Because the mock's nuts. Yeah, mock's been silly tonight. Um, no, nah, 25. <laughs> Coasting. 25 is a lot, or I don't even know what 20, that is. 25 milligrams is supposed to be the amount that people start feeling gummies at so you're just chilling i'm chilling i'm at, I'm at cruising altitude right now what do you do when you're partying seven yeah, thousand no i've never measured it until i started like edibles and stuff like that so i only know like i don't know maybe up to 100 milligrams 50 is i'm feeling good <laughs> real good i don't need to go more than that yeah, well, good. All right, man. Yeah, no, I, you know, that's the one thing I, I I miss from time to time. Little little weed. I I'm I, I I'm really upset that I got clean before weed became what it is. Like I was sneaking around, fucking. I used to literally drive to Harlem, and and get weight. I would go into the. I have to yeah. go into the or Spanish Harlem or Harlem, depending. But I would knock on a door that the guys, I would go up to the third or fourth floor. I'd knock on a door. They'd look and see if I was okay. I'd get let in. They'd lock the door and they'd put weight on the scale. It was big, That's huge, terrifying. bad. By, what? That's terrifying. terrifying. Yeah. I'm in, I'm I would, in like, I would buy a little crack. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, is, that is absolutely terrifying. But that's what if I wanted to go get some weed, I mean, unless I buy a dime bag or something, but like that's how I was buying fucking weed, man. It was like I had to sneak around. Little Growing up, zip. it would be like in the woods. Woods. <laughs> like hiding. Yeah. Now you got like a pen and you're walking through Target. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, Lex guy checking in. Thank you, buddy. He says the Jets should play in the AFC West since we play Denver every year. My fear is Zach is going to another team and become great. That's always our fear. Tell me the last Jets player that went to another team and was great. Yeah, it doesn't happen. Who is it? There's, there, there, I think there's one. Re well, Chad is the most, and he wasn't great. He no. went there, they won the division, but that was the Wildcat yeah. year. So the Wildcat was really what J Chad just played his role perfectly because he's a consummate pro. And that was um, the Brady year going down with the injury. That yeah. was Brett Favre getting hurt after the Jets were like eight and three. Like that, a lot of things kind of had to break that way. Yeah. I like so, Chad too. All right. 
I think the timer went off. So, oh, look, it's we get ourselves a running back, it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and take Braylon Allen, right? That's who won the poll. That's who I voted for. Yeah, 48% Braylon Allen. Good pick, everybody. He's a slammer. Slammer. And that's yep. what we need. Yep. Um, But, yeah, dude, I mean, look, Zach, you know, he's a very talented kid. Like, let's make no mistake. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why, and you see it now with J.J. McCarthy. Everybody flipping out over the pro day throw. It's 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 comical to me, but his, you know, the idea that he's going to be the worst quarterback in the NFL for three straight years, and then somehow go somewhere and be, you would see the greatness. He would have more than one good game at a clip before mm -hmm. three or four bad ones. He would have two or three. Decent games. Think about this. Mm -hmm. He only has what two, three hundred yard games, dude. The so when Zach stat, plays great, we're talking about mm -hmm. two fifty five. The best stat I've seen was the first two years of his career, and it was our offense without Zach and our offense with Zach, and it was like last in the league with Zach, and it was like number one, like ten yards above the Chiefs per game or something like that, without Zach, with Flacco, with White, <laughs> with like any anyone not named Zach. For a while was like really good i, I probably it probably dragged it down last year but it, we still look better at the end of the year yeah i mean zach's bad dude you know what i mean and I, i'm telling you i watched the film and it's a, a i get what everybody's saying about the offensive line i get it i it's all real mm -hmm. but there were a hundred opportunities for him just to toss it to a, and he can't do it he can't mm -hmm. see him he's a yep. panic he's in panic mode um so all right, here we go. We got, here's some safeties. Now we're running out. I don't even know these guys. So I know Kenny Logan Jr. Give me two. Kenny Logan. I've, I know Keaton Oldapo. Proctor. Proctor's there. Um, but again, look, see, and their ratings, don't worry about their rankings. Yeah. Man. We're going to take them where we want them. Okay. Uh, Proctor so was the guy I, I looked at last year. Yeah. Josh Proctor. All right. So let's put, this is pick 185. Yeah. All right, so we got all right. We'll put Josh Proctor up there again. Where PFF has him rated, like right now on PFN, he's a third round pick. You know what I mean? So it mm -hmm. doesn't, you know, draft buzz. He's in the fourth. It doesn't matter. Yeah, um, I like using draft buzz. I like having like all the. I wish they did a mock draft. Simulator. They do. No, it's great. Are I almost really? used it tonight. I almost. No, the only reason I didn't use it tonight is because uh, they it. wouldn't take my trades. Oh. Really? Literally, yeah, I love it. That's my preferred mock. Dude, I use them for everything because they have dude, everyone. you got to check their simulator out, dude. Because yeah, that, man. what you're talking about, when you expand yeah. a player, they have their fucking spider chart. Oh, they yeah, got, yeah. Dude, so that's where I look at the players. That Where I get all my draft rankings, always draft buzz. And I love seeing where all the other draft boards have them, like have a player ranked. It's like, oh, okay, PFN has them here, and Draft Tech has them here, and, you know, Walter Football or whatever. Like, really deep dives. Big fan. I didn't know they had a draft simulator. Yeah. So, all right. Who? I mean, who else we like here? I just say you want. I don't. I don't know him. We can put a name up there. We're in the sixth round. I so. would throw Kenny Logan Jr. Kenny. Logan. I haven't watched him in a while, but I remember liking him. Okay. We should probably have uh, Dom C's draft. I don't know if he goes this deep into the safeties. He does. Well, in in certain positions, right? Yeah, um, yeah, but uh, it's hard because I can't do all that. No, no. I know I should. I I dropped the ball here. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I was not prepared. I came to Justin class without Rogers, a pencil. I came to class without a pencil. One of my favorite defensive tackles in the whole draft, everybody. Dustin Rogers. I'm putting him up. Throw him in. Yo, I'm excited for whatever happens with Kinlaw and Ray. Yeah. Too. Like if they're both here for a year, I'm okay with that. I think we franchise Reddick though. So who else are we thinking here? I mean, we could go, you know, we got three picks left. It's just these and the last two picks in the whole draft. Mm. So we're looking at their big board. You know, I mean, what's it? We 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 could take a flyer on a cornerback. Six one one ninety seven, right? Yep. Yeah, late round. I want like high upside at this point. Someone that's like, you know, didn't go to class. 
<laughs> like or got in trouble. Like, give me, give me one of those guys. Who would that be at this point? Let's see. Uh, Kamal Haddon's up. Oh, let me see his draft grade here. Hold on. He's projected to be. Let's see. He will, he, they're, they're projecting him to eventually be a, an average starter. All right. That's good. Yeah, I can take good. that. Yeah. yeah, Kamal Haddon. Um, we'll put him up there. I like that. He's nice and big. I like that. I like a good size. Yep. Yeah. Okay, here you go, guys. We got uh two safe. Well, wait, wait, what the hell? Wait a minute. He was a cornerback. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I put safety. That's what it was. Got a okay. This is all this is a defensive pick. Here we go. Get your votes in. Let's see. Uh the timer's up. Get your votes in. And I'll get to this super chat here. Where'd it go? Douglas McClure checking back in. Ian Rappaport is reporting Casey signed Wentz to a one-year deal, making Zach Wilson to Denver even, even more likely. Right, because that was the other place we were thinking Zach could land. I'm telling you, man, there's just nowhere. There's it, It's few and far between for this kid. And it's a funny no, that, thing, because if, if Woody makes us keep him because we can't trade him. Do you think that's true? I, I read it. Yeah, I think he's an idiot. <laughs> he might be an idiot, but he's in think, charge. I don't know. I no, I shouldn't say that. I don't think he's. I don't think he's serious. I think he's saying that as a way to try and like protect his value. I would be surprised. Oh man, I can't see him back. I really can't. Wentz to Kansas City though makes it you know less and less spots. Justin Rogers, man. Um, Wentz to Kansas City. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, dude, it makes sense. Makes sense. And you think, like, why do they want to give up a pick? Who wants to give up a pick for him to take on his $10 million contract? Why? So the team taking him on would be one year, one uh, 5.5. The Jets could probably and will probably have to eat the roster bonus, which would make it a one-year, $1 million deal. So that's not that bad. Like, I think Denver... Say that again. On- say, say that again. So he's a $10 million cap hit for us or $11 million cap hit for us. But if you trade him... The team would take on one year five point five million dollars, but if the Jets eat the roster bonus of four million, it would be a one year one million dollar contract for Zach. And I think you can trade him for that. And I think yeah, that's what the, oh, I yeah, think no that's what the Broncos get. And that for their dead cap year, that's exactly what they want. I think that well, J Max, that's exactly what this draft is. Just so to recap, mm-hmm. there's. Maybe some people in here, like Jay Max, who didn't hear us in the beginning, what we're doing tonight, we slid back to 12 with Denver, gave them pick 111 and Zach Wilson. So they gave them 10, 111 and Zach. They gave us pick 12, pick 76 and Cortland Sutton. Dude, so, I would be over the moon if we got Sutton. Yeah, we're. I mean, dude, this draft, I mean, even, <laughs> even though you Even if we didn't get Sutton, I'd probably still do that trade. Yeah. Not bad. Right, just to take Zach. Take Zach. You know what's funny? Let me tell you guys something. In the simulator, there were numerous times when I added, it would be like 70% chance of six, of, of being accepted. I would add Zach Wilson. It would go 64% chance of being accepted. <laughs> it would actually lower the value. That's pretty funny. Uh, all right, so we got a safety, it looks like. Uh, let me make sure. Josh Proctor coming aboard. Jeremy's saying he doesn't like Josh Proctor. But that's Jeremy. Shut up, Jeremy. Jeremy also beat me up for months about Zach Wilson being fucking. The, he was a big one with the hybrid Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes thing. I've been bookmarking every single one of Jeremy's tweets, and I'm gonna. Oh, well, good for you. <laughs> I'm kidding, Jeremy. I good enough. for you. No, nah. that's great. Well, yeah, I know. I couldn't get crazy. Just J- Jag, just a guy saying you should have thrown Lazard in. I did have Brownlee Apparently, in there. I threw I, Brownlee in for a minute, and I, yeah. I probably could have, you know, um, probably. to make it make more sense for Sutton. I was I working be, that. I feel like us getting Sutton's probably the unrealistic part of that. Well, I like I. So I think I told you I heard that they offered Lazard to uh, to Denver for Judy and a fourth, and Denver. Trade him for a fifth and a sixth to the Browns. 
so they value Lazard less than that. I guess so. And he could be butthurt too. You know what I mean? No, he like, could be they, upset. He's like, oh, screw the Jets. Yeah, yeah if maybe. I have an opportunity not the Jets, I don't Yeah, know. That, that's absolutely. Great. I yeah. could totally see that coming from. All right, so we got the last two picks of the draft. I'm throwing is is Jolly Rogers still up there? Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna put him up there again. We got a safety, Gabe Hall. Get out of here, <laughs> Dom, Dom. Every time we do this, he's just like, "You've got to be kidding me." He's still yeah. here. So all the defensive tackles went in that stretch, man. We'll yeah, throw too. Gabe Hall up there. I feel we can like look that. at some quarterbacks. Go. Uh, who? Else, what other positions you want to look at here? Uh, throw a quarterback up. See what's what's there. Why not? If there's like a Joe Milton, I would I would take a stab at him at the next pick. Not really this one. I'd want Mister Irrelevant to be the quarterback at that point. You do? Yeah, at that point. I'd rather Sam Hartman. Truth be That's told, fine. yeah, he's gone I, anyway. Joe Milton's like a he's just got crazy arm strength. It's more like the wow factor, I guess. Yeah, I he just I don't bite on that shit. Me and I Dom do. had I this bet. debate. We, Dom and I had this debate. Yeah. Which is at this point, he's betting on a trait, right? Right. Like, so something like with Milton, they're really good athleticism, at. you know, like yep. a strong arm, you know, he does one thing really well. Yep. I'm the exact opposite. What I look for here, mm -hmm. I would rather have guys here that could be my utilitarians. I would, this I want football players here. Mm -hmm. Like I want guys like low RAS score, but for what he's the, the Wayne Krebets of the world. He's just fucking gets on the field. He shouldn't be do. He shouldn't be beating that guy, but he is. And nobody wants to give him a chance. Those are the guys mm -hmm. in the sixth and seventh that I'm stockpiling. I'm bringing on big fatties. I'm mm -hmm. bringing on, you know, uh, lunch pails guys that like, I like to say bloody knuckles. That's the guys I like. You know, especially at the back end of the draft, I'd rather take a flyer on a guy who's just a football player, mm -hmm. and like a running back that you go, shit, we're out of safety. He's like, right here, coach, like that guy. Yeah, I'll fucking yeah. play safety. Give me, I'll kill that guy. Like somebody like that, rather than a, a a Joe Milton whose arm is crazy strong, but he's throwing it fifteen fucking feet away from the receiver. You know what I mean? Like, uh, dude, you know? so. I totally get that. And I think it makes a lot of sense with the way the kickoffs are going to be now. I think those 11 guys on the field are going to be so much more important now that they're like relied upon so heavily. We can get another, we can get Oladapo. I'm going to throw Oladapo on here too. Another safety. Why not? Make a competition. Good player. Uh, but who else we got? Let's look at some offense. Maybe some, we got a wheel. We got Sutton. We got Malik Washington. We mm -hmm. on the offensive line, we got Fatanu, we got um Cedric Van Prawn, but we can still yep. look at interior offensive line. I live one of my another another center, but still uh Agakwin is one of those guys. He's he's I mean he's now he's not gonna be here. De definitely not. Did we take a corner? I don't remember taking a we corner. We did. We did. Mm -hmm. Hayden. Mm. All right. So we got a quarterback, we got a defensive tackle, and we got a safety, and we got what the hell was this guy? What was I just doing? <laughs> oh, center. You were looking at center. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're interior offensive linemen, really. You know, he can play guard yeah. too. Yeah, uh, they just make a point of like, hey, we're not not gonna run out of bodies. Yeah, I, I spelt the name terrible. I just don't care. <laughs> Um, there it is. You know who I'm talking about? It's Kingsley. Oh my god, so bad. It's, oh god, it's, it's, is that is that it the last name? E. That's starts the with an linebacker, e. right? From the yeah, the I know. Marks. I'm talking about Kingsley Agakwin, the center. Look at him. Uh, so yeah, one sack all year, three quarterback hits, and two hurries. How big is he? 302, 6'3, 302. I like him. I went D tackle. He was one of the first players I watched this year that I that, that I took a dive into. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then we got the quarterback up there too. If oh, I don't think I put it. Sam Martin's a quarterback, everybody. Gabe Hall, the defensive tackle, is uh running. Oh, Sam Hartman's making a push. Get your votes in, everybody. Sam Hartman is down four percent to the defensive tackle. Kingsley Ogokin. I'm a little is, surprised because, like, I want to see Gabe Hall win. 
has. Yeah, I, want well, people, I, want, I want Mr. Oh. Irrelevant to be the quarterback. Yeah, because then, right. He's like, right, you know, just for the story of it all. Yeah. <laughs> so we got 63 votes, everybody. Um, right now, Gabe Hall's 39%. Sam Hartman's 35%. They're fighting it out. Oladapo and Olagu and Agakwan are, are toast at 13%. They'll never make it. 39 <laughs> to 34. Not. 40 to 34. Oh, Gabe Hall's taking it. And it's over. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Those are our last two picks, though. Boom, boom. Yeah. That's the way we're going to do it. So we got Gabe Hall. We got Gabe Hall coming to town. And then Sam Hartman is the quarterback. Top quarterback on the board, Ryan. I like it. I like From it. Notre Dame. I think it's a I think it's a great pick. I I gotta be honest. Sure. I'm a I'm I think a fan. It's a I... Great pick. All right, guys. So here we go. Now, Ryan, what we like to do. <laughs> Malik Washington. Tim, hey, look at this. I reported Jerm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so great. That's so great. Um, let me make sure I got all the super chats. Uh, I did. Okay. Oh, they gave us an A for thought new. Well, look at this. I thought, wow. All right, so let's start it up. So here we go. Now, after we do this, you give our letter grades. We'll hear Ryan's first, and then we'll do all yours. Uh, so the Jets, we made a trade. We traded quarterback Zach Wilson, pick 10 and 111. For Cortland Sutton, pick 12 and 76. So we moved up 35 picks from the fourth to the third round uh, to slide back two spots in the first round. And then we, you know, Zach for Sutton. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of value there. Again, I think if I added Brownlee, it would have it would have helped like mm -hmm. our brain a little bit, but yeah, it's not bad value. It's not, especially if if um he wants to go younger at wide receiver. They ended up taking Jared Verse. But mm -hmm. anyway, so then what we did at pick 12 was we took tackle offensive lineman extraordinaire Troy Fontenu. Uh, we followed that with wide receiver Malik Washington. So already we got Cortland Sutton and Malik Washington coming to town. Stedrick Van Pran, uh, the center out of Georgia at pick 76. That's the pick that we got from Denver in this trade. Followed that with Braylon Allen, the running back out of Wisconsin. Josh Proctor, the safety out of Ohio State. Gabe Hall, defensive tackle. And Mr. Irrelevant, quarterback Sam Hartman out of Notre Dame. PFF gives us a C plus. I think that is a tragedy. What do you think, Ryan? Give me your letter grade. It's baloney. This is a great draft. This Because think about it. We have our offensive line rock solid. Like you can't ask for spending like spending your first and third round pick on offensive linemen that you feel comfortable can now back up AVT and Tyron Smith. You can lose both of them and you got guys that can plug in at both spots. I think that's huge. Uh, Malik Washington, probably like may I always want to get him in like the fourth round, but I think his stock has risen so high. You have to take him in the third. So I like that pick a lot. And I think Allen's a beast. Allen's is a per Allen is a perfect compliment to Brees Hall. Perfect. I think that makes a ton of sense. And rounding out the draft with like, you know, needs high upside yep. guys. Yeah, high Hall upside and guys. And Sam Hartman sitting there for a year or three behind Aaron Rodgers and Tyrod Taylor. Who we talk about not having an offensive coordinator to develop a quarterback. I'd I'd say that I would argue sitting behind Taylor and A Rod for a couple of years not a bad situation to be in. Uh, oh, yeah. for any quarterback. So I like it. Uh, so let's, so what's your letter grade? I'd probably give this a solid B. Solid I, B. B plus. Yeah. A minus even like, I, I like this draft. I'm definitely, I would be very happy with this draft. If we came away with this. Uh, J max was for Shanu there. He was, he was there. He was one of our choices. So it was the hours. I would Bowers. So I like Bowers at 12. Uh, yeah, I'm, I I would too. I I wouldn't hate it, but I get this. This is big. We just got Cortland Sutton. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like it. Sodak with an wanted, A minus. We also wanted to trade up too. We accidentally didn't pause. <laughs> oh, had, in the second. Yeah, yeah we yeah, were. We, we, we had the plan to trade up. I don't know how. To, I turns out I, I don't know how to do it. 
That's I don't right. think it was. I don't think it was fucking available. The button wasn't there. You saw it, right? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Well, I didn't see it. JJ Hamza gives us a D. Evan Wallman B <laughs> is the grade I'm giving this. Infrared loves me. I love you, Infrared. Uh, Zachary Burner B draft. J Max with a B less. Like that. B less, J Max. I'm right with you. Jets mess with a solid C. Nathan Colgrove with a B plus. I give this draft a G for gummies, <laughs> F for fun, but really a solid B. <laughs> Nice. And how do you say his last name, Ryan? I heard him. What are you at? Uh, did you remember? Grizanka. Grizanka. That's the American bastardization, he said. How do you say the real Grizanka. one? Grizanka. No, there's no G. Zanka. Zanka, I think is what he said. He's, he definitely told me on my show, like, not that long ago. And now I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I know. I heard it. it. I, have to, go, I, I have to go back and rewatch it. So Because yeah. now I'm confused. I think it's Zanka. Johnny Jimenez says, what's better than an A-plus? Zach is gone. Don't forget <laughs> of the addition by subtraction, too, guys. You know, right. we 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 got that. Uh, the Tim gives it an A-plus, plus, plus. Casey Dog with a D-minus. Look at the varying degrees, right? Zeno, remind, Zach is gone. Gitmo, Bob with the D-plus. Not mm. quite a D. I'm going to graduate. That's, that's Tommy Boy. D-plus. D-plus, that's right. We graduate. I'm gonna grab Ethan Hornblower with a D plus. Hank with an A minus. Mm. Benom with a B plus. Brian Bourne with a B plus plus. Prospect value is often fuzzy math, indeed. Mm. Uh, Cyrus gives it a CBD grade. Ryan. <laughs> R- Ryan's uh, got the Delta great. eight though. He's not messing around with CBD. Nah. Right. Got Delta nine. Delta good nines stuff. out there oh, now. That's the good stuff. Yeah. What do I know? Uh, there it is. Some more grades. Gitmo giving a D plus is a record. No, Gitmo's been high lately, uh, Nick. Gitmo's been C's and B's of late. Cyrus C plus D plus. Mm. Shanu would have been an A, right? Tim gives it an A minus. Karanzan with an A minus. Bearded me the B minus positions mm. were okay, but the picks were off in a few spots. Fontenot okay, Malik should have been quarterly. Yeah, I hear mm. you right, and you know SVP. Yeah. I could see it right. I could see it. Mm. I I, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. I I I actually would complain if we took Corley over Malik Washington. I'd be a little upset, but I wouldn't be unhappy because I do like Corley as well. But I hear you. That's just preference, right? Yeah. B minus is solid. Some guy gives us an A minus. Farouk with the B. Uh, Jack S. Proctor was a silly pick. F is right. So you're going to grade it on our <laughs> sixth. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's sixth round pick, Jack. Right, Brian? It's the sixth. If I were to. Masbury, what's that? I was going to say, if I could adjust how I think I would have wanted this to go, I probably would have gone Bowers at 12. Cause I like enough of the interior guys in the third round. Like, cause we had mahogany and Van Pran there, but you don't have the tackle depth. That's the part that gets you like, you get the willies. That's the thing. And that's the scariest part for me. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, I think a th- you got to get a tackle man in this draft. You have to come away with a tackle. Now, what if the jets are thinking like we're bringing back one of, or we're going to go after like a Bakhtiari or uh, maybe Becton comes back. Yeah, after I know. But right now, we don't have that. I understand. Mm-hmm. And if that's their plan, like let's say they have a handshake with Bakhtiari, they got to wait a few months so he passes the physical, yeah. something like that. Okay, that's a different story. You know, because he's going to be a backup. But then, you know, you mm-hmm. figure both of them guys together can get you a season. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Cortland Sutton makes it a B plus. Yeah, man. That's a I know, huge everybody, guess. don't forget to smash the like button for us. Give us those milk thumbs, everybody. Come on. Allen gives it an F minus. No way I'm taking Washington over Corley. Mm. I know he's got a he's, he's the Corley crush. Mm. Allen Dode's a beanbagger. He talks about Corley more than any other subject. <laughs> That's his guy, man. That's his guy. Again, I wouldn't think, be unhappy with him. Do you have a guy? Like, is, would you say Washington is your guy if you had to have like a guy in the draft? Yeah, he's my number one. He's my number one crush. That's a fun one. Yeah. I don't I don't know if I have a guy. I've I've liked Zinter for a while. That'd be cool if we got him. 
I don't know if he's got the flexibility though to like. I mean, yeah, all right, that's that. that's it for the grades. Oh, no, Jake with a solid B. Hmm. Uh, let's see, Hornblower. All right, wait. I think that's it. F for Proctor. I said C the entire draft. Yeah, but just so okay, F just for the pick. <laughs> got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I got you. Got you. Oh, you're saying F for Proctor. He's saying okay. C for the entire uh, draft. I, F for the one draft. I was thinking he meant F. Once yeah, we yeah, yeah. Proctor for the entire draft. That's what I My thought. Bad. My that bad. That makes sense. Yeah, I know. This is this is it. And like whether or not that can be made. Look, if you got to throw something else in or something like that to get that done, it could be it could be justified, dude. Like if Sean Payton's thinking, give me Zach Wilson, he'll he'll battle Stidham. I can I can make something out of this kid, no problem. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm gonna get rid of Sutton in the contract, and I'm gonna bring on Romo Dunze you know, to go to pair with Marvin Mims and all. I mean, there, there, there's there, there's definitely a thought process there. And uh, it's not entirely unrealistic. Do you think it's like, hey, if we trade Zach for the 12 pick and we also throw in the 10 pick, it's almost like a weird like thing that they did with Rodgers last year. The Jets gave up a first round pick, but it was really like trading down. So it'd be like for like, oh, the Jets got a first not really got a first. I know, but yeah, you can word it any way you want. You know, right. they got a 12 or whatever. Like, really, like, look, we traded, uh, we got Aaron Rodgers in a first. You know I mean, you can trade yeah, that's it. That's exactly it. That Right? Like, that's it's a weird way to say it, but, like, that's that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no sweat, Jack. You know, it's, I'm glad we're able to catch it. We don't always catch it, you know. But, um, so my letter grade is I give this – I give this an A minus, man. I think this is a, if this like, here's the thing, like think about all the drafts that the jets put together over the years. Mm -hmm. Think about all of them. Every except for 2022, of course, that thing was a fucking missile. So <laughs> if this is what the jets put together in real life, we got Cortland Sutton. We got Troy Fatanu. We got Malik Washington, Cedric Van Pran, Braylon Allen, Josh Proctor, Gabe Hall, and Sam Hart. Dude, I would lose my shit. This would be one of the best drafts, at least prospect-wise, that the Jets have done ever. Like, that's the thing. Like, we're perfectionists out here, and if the Jets would ever just listen to us, just check it out and go, you know, I'm just going to bite off one of these guys' mocks. Mm -hmm. They would knock it out of the park. And if you just look over the past four or five years, the It'll guys be. that we wanted and mm -hmm. were on the board, they're all good. And we take Zaire Barnes or Jason Pinnock or fucking Jamie and Sherwood or whatever. We're getting all weird and creative. How many times are no we reason sitting there in like the third round? We're like, how is this guy still here? Yeah. <laughs> like, why are we not taking him? We're like fourth round pick. It's like, come on. That was I the know. move. Believe me, dude. Donovan Peoples Jones is a big one for me. I, he you ended up going, I believe, was in the sixth round. You were big dude, on him. Th dude, that I guy, dude, that. I said he is a third round pick all day, every yep. day. Yep. The entire draft. Yep. I was like, dude, why are we not? And we needed wide receiver. Why are we taking these? Like, what? Why? Yeah, I don't know. So dude, anyway, so there it is, everybody. There's our ten o'clock mock. I'll post this in uh, on YouTube and on the on the Twitter uh, for everybody to see. Look at this hair, huh? All right. So eleven thirty, not too bad. I did we, you know, that's uh, I I thought we were gonna run late there for a minute, Ryan. What'd you do? Where'd you go? I hit something. I don't know what I did. Oh, this is great. <laughs> ah, now we're, we started we with green bean gone, and then they ended with me gone. Yeah, if Malik Washington makes it to the fourth, I'll be surprised. I mean, it, it yeah. could definitely happen. I actually think he's going to be drafted much higher than people think. I think he's, he's a so third round pick, but I would not be surprised. Just like, look, remember when Jerry Judy, CD Lamb, and all those guys, Justin Jefferson, mm -hmm. who was the first wide receiver wide receiver drafted? Anybody remember? It was Rugs. Fucking Rugs. Yeah. So Dude, I loved CD Lamb that draft. Yeah, that was my guy. That was <sighs> your guy. That was my guy. That was your guy for sure. I would have gone um, tackle though. I like that was the play. So, all right, man. Well, listen, that's that's going to wrap it up. Uh, I want to thank you for hanging out with me, Ryan. This was cool. A little thank bonus you for time. Having me on, dude. I was so excited. You were like, text me. I was like, oh, my God. I get to be on the 10 o'clock mock with Bean. Yeah, this was exciting. 
Uh, I love it, man. So we have tomorrow the Talking Jets panel, 8 p.m. on Talking Jets, everybody. Mm -hmm. Tigo and I will be hanging out on Wednesday night on Talking Jets, 8 p.m. And then on Thursday, 3 p.m., Jeremy with Matt O'Leary, they get to do the reality check for you. Uh, a, nice, a nice batch of Jets content coming up uh, in addition to all the other stuff that gets released all over the joint on Jets Talk 24-7 on uh, Matt O'Leary, of course. Um, yeah, and the Thursday thick of it, I'm currently uh, trying to – I'm like working on a few guests. So the next couple of weeks might have some friends hanging out with us. We'll see. Scheduling-wise, I'm working it out. But uh, anywho, guys, with that all said, we're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget about our draft party, everybody. We're here at the mock, our draft party, April 25th for the first round of the mock. We will be on location live streaming from the main event in Farmingdale, Long Island. Tickets are available. There's a link in the description of the video or just go to TalkingJets.com. Uh, everybody who comes in gets three hours of open bar, three hours of all-you-can-eat buffet, plus uh event specific merch and incredible giveaways like tickets to j lower level tickets to jets games uh tailgate joe tailgate package among so many other things lots of merch and shit like that we're going to be giving away it is going to be an amazing time i hope you will join us and uh again tickets talkingjets.com ryan you want to say anything on the way out no, I'm excited. You dude, I just can't wait for the draft party. It's going to be a blast. This is like our what is this? Year 5 or 6 doing this five, together now? Five, five, oh, five. It's just it's my favorite time of year. And the first round, it always gets wild cuz the Jets do something you don't expect. You trade up for AVT, you trade up for Jermaine Johnson, like something always happens and I'm just I'm amped for it. I'm yeah. totally amped. And Dano, you're nailing why open bar is so <laughs> incredibly valuable. Dude, let me tell you something. I open when I was drinking, I would laugh when they would say open bar, I just, mm. I was the two fister all night long, two fists. And if I had one down, I was already online with my <laughs> other one. I would sip while I got, I would, that's how, dude, I would drink. If it's a hundred dollars, I would probably drink with no exaggeration, three to $500 worth of fucking alcohol. No <laughs> doubt. Top <laughs> shelf, especially if it wasn't well drinks. You know what I mean? Sometimes open yeah, bars. Top do shelf. That. Oh, always, always. I'm trying mm. all kinds of nifty bourbons and shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys that's our show i hope you enjoyed yourself thanks for hanging out with us don't forget to hit the like button on your way out with that all said we will see you next time one two three o'clock four o'clock rock five six seven o'clock eight o'clock donnie lamb jones <laughs> as a season ticket holder of the jets i'm gonna fool ken o'brien of california davis Obviously, the Jets know something that, you know, the people up there don't. Pull back. Hello. Roger Vick. Jeff Lagerman. Jets just don't understand the dress all back. Blair Thomas. Running back. Penn State. Johnny Mitchell. The New York Jets select tight end to Penn State. Kyle Brady. Hello. Vernon Golston. Cleveland's great age the fifth pick to the New York Jets. And with the fifth pick in the 2009 NFL Draft, we are going to select Mark Sanchez. D. Milner. You don't spin. Jets select quarterback Christian Hackenberg. Sam Darnold. 